Hey everyone and welcome back to Audit Rewind. Before we get started, drop a like on today's video to show your support. And also if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel down below if you like watching audit videos. Here on Audit Rewind, I rewind the audits and I actually add my commentary and I like to get all your opinions, so make sure you comment down below. Now today's clip comes from a guy known as the good guy audits. I've seen a couple of his clips before and I have to say that this one is similar to some clips I've featured before in the sense that the police do not like their vehicles being filmed yet when they're in public. There's something so sensitive about a lot of officers seeing their police vehicle being filmed that it just triggers something within them. In this particular video, the good guy audits goes up, he's on the sidewalk and just starts filming the police vehicle. Instantly, within seconds, two officers notice him and run over to question him on what he's doing. Take a look next because they try and accuse him of all sorts and try and also get his ID, but good guy knows better. Why are you recording our, our stuff? Are you alright? Are you alright? Is there a reason you're recording the cars? Why you came up on me like that? Because you're looking you're into our vehicles. That's why, why you came up on me like that? Because you're looking into our vehicles. Why are you so aggressive? I'm not aggressive. You are. I'm asking you why are you looking into our vehicles. Why are you so aggressive? You need to. And you have to be reminded to turn your body cam on. No, my body cam is on. What's your name and badge number? Mandaro one eight nine one five. And yours? Altabano two six four eight five. And then here you. Altabano two six four eight five. Why are you so aggressive? You get to look at six o'clock in the morning. Why are you looking, looking into our, 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 so our, our so whose cars? This is the police department's cars. Who pays for them? New City of New York. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So I can look at them. I can touch them. You cannot. Instantly, these officers have run over as if this guy is somehow a highly wanted felon, when in reality, it's just good guys ordered. This guy literally just goes around filming things and taking pictures. Yes, it's not a crime. And yes, what he's doing is not against the law. This man is literally stood on the edge of the sidewalk, filming the police vehicle. But the interesting thing about this is the officers seem to have now calmed down a lot now that they've realized that they are dealing with someone that actually knows what they're doing. Let's take a look at part two and see what happens next, because I sense a whole kind of relaxation from the two officers. If you notice, instantly they got there, they were ready to put this guy in cuffs. It felt like that kind of energy, whereas all of a sudden they've calmed down, as if good guy audits has somehow dismantled their tension. Yes, I could. You cannot. Yes, I could. No, you I pay not. for them, right? You do not pay for them. I don't pay for them. Who no, pays for them then? City of New York does. Where, where, where am I? East Park. Where am I? You, you I don't pay for these cars with my tax dollars. Not for that. I can touch these cars all I want, bro. Yeah. I can't break into them. But I can touch them. Cannot touch them. Yes, I could. Yes, no, I could. Cannot. I could check on the wheels, make sure the wheels are good. I can look at them. I can do all that. Do you need help? Do you need help? I don't need help. I'm asking if you need help. I don't answer questions. Do you need help? I don't answer questions. Do you need help? You go back to work. I'm, we'd love to go back to work. You want to stand in front of our car? Go ahead. I'm on the sidewalk. What does that do not stand in front of our car? You're still standing in front of the car. I want. I'm on the sidewalk. What's, what does the sidewalk have to do with anything? That means I can be on the sidewalk wherever I want. Okay. You okay. can't be filming the inside of the car, though. Says who? Who, who said that? Says who? Yeah, who said I can't film inside of the car? It's the law. Am I detained? You are not detained. Not Someone detained. knows that. Okay, so let me just get one thing straight. The officer has just said that it is against the law to film inside the police vehicle but he can't seem to quote which law it is and good guy audits is trying to get that law out of him. Well, maybe there isn't such a law, but I'm not going to comment on that because we actually have a part three where perhaps this officer can help his fellow colleague in coming up with what law that is where you can't film a police car in public or zoom into the windows from a public sidewalk. No doubt they'll try and find something that they can make up, but I'm still rather interested to see what they say next. Who? Yeah, who said I can't film inside of the car? It's the law. Am I detained? You are not detained. Not so detained. what law is that? What? I'm not saying you're detained. I... So what law am I breaking? You're not to be filming inside the car. What law is that? What law is that? Some shit you just made up? 
What law is that? I'm in public. I'm in the tower. That means whatever I can see from public, I can record. Right? You know that, right? You know the First Amendment, right? What law is that? State the law. So why, why is he making up laws that don't exist? He's not, he's not playing the game. He said I can't film inside the, the car. So go back to work. Game. I told you. I'm I would not love detained, to, but so why you're still talking to me? Us. I'm not detained. Why are you still talking to me? You're not detained. Exactly. You can so why are you still talking to, to me? Why are you still I'm, here? If I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. Then why are you still here then? If I'm free you to don't leave, want to I'm talk to us, stay. right? So then why are you still here talking to us? I'm filming the cars like I was doing before. Peacefully. Minding my business. You came up mad, aggressive. Yo, yo. Man over here. Your friend had suspicion is not a crime. It is a crime. It's a, suspicion it's, is a crime? Suspicion of looking into vehicles is. We get calls for it all What time. crime is it? Is it a misdemeanor or a felony? It comes over as a 1010 suspicious person looking into vehicles. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Depends on what you're trying to do. Are you trying to look for government documents? Are you trying to... Whatever try to I can see from public, I can film. Why are you if you don't want people to look about? inside your car, Why put a fucking tent. Why are you still talking? Why do you just make up laws like that? In crimes, you just make up crimes? No, not at all. You just said suspicion is a crime. Suspicious person is a call that we get all the time. Is it a crime? It's not crime to be suspicious, no. Exactly. So eventually we got to the point, or as we'd say here in the UK, the nitty gritty. The police realized that it wasn't against the law, but in fact it was suspicious. Now, Good Guy Audits is extremely good with his words, uh, maybe that's why he's Good Guy Audits, because he knows what he's doing, but after all this, he said to the officers that being suspicious isn't against the law. So, although, you know, filming someone's car from the sidewalk can be seen as annoying, suspicious and just stupid, it's not illegal or unlawful. So unfortunately, especially when it is actually a government paid for and tax dollar paid for vehicle like a police car then to him that is even more reason that he should be able to film it should be able to investigate and look at it and inspect it but these officers seemed a bit uptight and tense about this guy filming the car which again i mean it's not as bad as a past video i featured where a female officer outright arrested a guy just for filming her vehicle but these cops didn't overstep that mark thank god but they did seem to think that being suspicious warrants them being able to come over and try and intimidate this guy, which to me, that's what it looks like in my opinion. Let's get into our next one. You're about to drive off and I want to make sure you have a valid driver license. Up next, I found this video, but I can't seem to find out who it's from. Please, if you know who it's from, comment down below or send me an email so then I can give them the credits because this actually is one of the most interesting clips of today's video. It features somebody who was actually sat in a car just about to drive away from I believe a police department or some kind of government building when they get stopped by an officer on foot. This officer just kind of walks up behind their car and asks to see their ID. Now the weird thing about this is the officer doesn't mention anything about detaining them uh, at the beginning of this video but he words it as if they can't leave unless they show their driver's license. Somehow this officer claims that he suspects the guy doesn't have a driver's license and is driving without a license. I mean he needs a reasonable suspicion to ask something like this and it seems a bit weird as to why he would actually ask for it unless he thought he wasn't driving without a license. So I mean in some states it's different so I can't comment for everything but a lot of states don't have stop and ID so that's where the saying comes from this isn't a stop and ID state. Well, I don't know where this is, so it may well be, but if you guys know, please comment down below and let me know. But take a look at this video. You're about to drive off and I want to make sure you have a valid driver license. Because you're not supposed to be on the property. Well, and so I'm... I'll, yes, sir, so you're about to drive off, yes, sir. So, I need so to I'll, see your I'll accept being sure. trespassed, but I don't want to be ID'd. Okay, well, you're, gonna, you're driving off, right? We have to make sure you have a valid driver license. When you... Does that, make, does that make sense? No, when you have a, when you when you have an infraction to pull me over for, then well, we're here. We want to make sure you're able to drive off. You have a valid driver license to drive off, right? I understand so you're not that you want to do that. Motor vehicle without a, a bad license, right? And do you suspect so that gotta, I don't have a license? Well, we got we got to make sure. No, you don't. Yes, sir. We do. If you're driving off, yes, sir. No, yeah, you you can't just pull people over for. I'm not pulling you. I'm making sure you have a driver license for you to be able to drive off. And what makes you suspect I don't have one? We gotta make sure, we gotta double check. Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Surely do. Okay, do you have that with you? Surely do. Alright, can I see that? No. You have to have insurance to drive off, yes sir. 
and you have to have a driver license to drive a vehicle, right? Does that make sense? Surely does. Okay, well, we have to make sure that's, that's what's and going on. And you have a, a reason to suspect we that do. I don't. We have a reason that you got to drive off. So let me just get one thing straight here. The reasonable suspicion here, the officer is, I think, claiming yes, because you have to drive off. I'm sorry, if I've heard something wrong here, I hope I have, because that makes no sense whatsoever. In that case, does the officer go round to every car leaving Walmart, every car leaving Planet Fitness, every car leaving a shop, parking lot, turning off a road, saying you are suspicious for not having a driving license and I have reasonable doubt, so I need to check your license because you're about to drive off. It doesn't make any sense. And I still quite haven't heard the term you're being detained unless I've missed it in this video because he should, I mean it's a battle of words here, I feel like the officer knows that he can't really detain the guy but at the same time he wants to word it in a way to say look if you drive off you're in trouble. I'd be interested to see what would happen if this guy did actually drive off and just ignored the officer. Since when did driving out of somewhere give officers reasonable suspicion that someone might not have a driving license? I mean, it's utter nonsense in my opinion. Here's part two. And I'm yeah, and happy to leave the property. Sure you have insurance and a driver's license. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. It makes sense if you pull me over for an infraction. That's not how this works, sir. You're not supposed to be on the property. You're going to have to drive off in your vehicle. Right. Right. And, for and that's, and that's the and for trespass. Us, I'm, I'm accepting being hold trespassed. On, hold on. For us to let you do that, we have to make sure you have a current driver's license and insurance for the vehicle. What makes you suspect I don't have it? Well, we have to make sure. Am I under arrest? No, you're not, sir. Then, unless you've got me on an infraction of some, of some kind, I don't have to identify. Okay, are you, where are you heading after this? Where are you going? Off the property, I guess. Okay, but where, what's your next move? head off the property okay are you gonna are you gonna go in onto any private any, any public driveway like any any public road is that where you're going eventually you, sure okay then we got to make sure you got a driver's license and when you see me put uh, with an infraction on that public roadway then you can pull me over okay well we're not gonna let you drive off if you don't have a driver's license sir is your supervisor about he's watching and what's he what's he got to say They just gotta get off property. I don't think we have enough. Alright, cool with me. Alright, you're good. Thanks. You have guys, you have a good, good day. Yes, sir. Like, I don't know, you guys, I get so annoyed when I see these clips. Like, the officer wasn't arresting the guy, and claimed that him driving off was a reasonable suspicion to doing a license check. I mean, it didn't make sense to me. I guarantee that most of us watching this video are not going to be happy with how the officer dealt with that. And please put your opinions and your criticism in the comment section down below because I just can't get my head around what the officer thought he was doing here. I don't have any clue what he thought he was doing by saying you're driving away, that makes you suspicious. I mean, that sounds dumb even to people with like a one IQ. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, <laughs> I have nothing much more to say about this, but as you can see, the guy was allowed on his way, didn't present any form of ID, and soon realized that, well, the supervisor would have turned up and definitely, in my opinion, gone against what this officer is saying. All right, how are you, sir? Are you just out here holding the sign? Next up here today, we have a clip from Honor Your Oath, and this is a channel I've been watching for a long time. Here we have Jeff, who has been doing a social, ex well, I like to call it a social experiment. Basically, Jeff has been going around. He's been doing this one for a while now, basically where he holds a sign saying, God bless homeless vets. Now, a lot of you may have already seen these types of videos where he goes around all different places, side of the road, sidewalks, government buildings, police departments, 
and almost every time he gets told that he can't be there because he is loitering or asking for money. Now, if you're wondering what's on his sign, it usually is something or other to do with God bless homeless vets or bless the homeless vets. Uh, basically veterans that come back and are homeless because of all different problems, whether it be mental issues, financial issues, psychological, and he believes, and I think we all do, that they deserve a lot more support and help. Now, this is just raising awareness. Obviously, he's holding a sign and talking to the local community, but all the time, the security and police, for some reason, have an issue with it. So let's take a look at today's first video, where he is outside a government building and immediately an officer comes down and starts acting like this guy is doing something wrong. Alright, how are you sir? Are you just out here holding the sign? You soliciting money? I'm sorry? Are you soliciting? I'm, I'm actually hard of hearing, I have to speak up. Okay, I'll get closer. Okay. Are you soliciting money? Uh, I'd rather not answer any questions, sir. Well, if you don't, then you can't stay here with this sign. Why is until, that? until you tell me what you're doing here. Uh, Are I, you soliciting money, yes I, or no? I'm not answering questions. Well, then I'm not going to have you here. Uh, okay? As simple as that. Okay? 20 command. Go ahead. I'm out here with this gentleman uh, at the East Wing Depot. God bless the homeless veterans. Yes, sir. What is it? Uh, it's my camera. Okay. Can you not, hey, don't do that. Don't touch my, hey, look. Put it back down and don't touch my camera. Are you threatening me? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Please put my camera down and don't touch it. Please. I'm making sure what it is. I have a right to do that here at Kids Crown. All right. Look like you're going to turn it off. No, I'm not going to turn it off. All right. No, I don't have Why are you staying so close to me? Because you're hard to hear. Okay. Right. Well, that's good right there. Okay. You can hear me just yes, fine. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. All that's right. fine. So you couldn't hear me from over there when I came in. Okay. Okay. 20 command. Look, I'm, I'm not a violent person, okay? I'll, I'll tell you good. that. Stand by for me. Make sure the camera's on me. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, a, I'm a calm, polite yes. person. So. Okay. How you doing, sir? God bless the homeless veterans, sir. Now, we can eat. If you just answer my you can stand here, but you can't solicit money. So at this point in the video, there are more officers on the way. And in my opinion, I just feel like if these officers and security just left Jeff alone, well, number one, it would make the videos a whole lot more boring. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest here, like 100% honest, obviously. But at the same time, if they didn't do this, I think Jeff would be happy. If he could go and film one video for an hour or two standing around with this sign without getting the harassment from security or cops, then he would in fact actually be happy. Because that means that the officers and security have realised that he's not doing anything wrong. He's just standing there raising awareness for homeless veterans. Well at this point, keep in mind that now the police are on the way to the scene, there are units coming to back up this security guard and I believe there is security to the building and officers present here. So let's take a look at part two and see what they decide to do next with Jeff. Now we can eat, if you just answer my, you can stand here, but you can't solicit money. And I got people coming in telling me that's what you're doing. Some are saying it, some are not. Right. And I can't have that. You can't be on the Capitol grounds soliciting money. Soliciting money is a freedom of speech. All right. I'm okay, not... now, if we're gonna do it that way, Where's you, your name, sir? I'm not telling you any names or anything. I'm not answering are, any questions. Are you refusing to? Am I suspected of a crime? No, but it's called uh, obstructing. Not unless I'm su suspected of a crime. You don't get ID for constitutionally protected activity. Well, if uh, if you're soliciting money, you've committed a soliciting crime. Soliciting money is a constitutionally protected activity. And I'm not saying I am or I'm not. 20, command. Send me a supervisor out here. My name is Jeff, by the way. I'll tell you that. Jeff. Jeff, yes. God put it in my heart to say God bless homeless veterans out in public. That's what I'm doing. How you doing? This guy, I wait till he gets here. He's hard to hear, too. Yeah, I'm a little hard to hear. 
this guy's hard to hear. Oh, okay. Uh, so you got to ask him questions. I asked him his name. He first refused to give it to me. Now he's saying that his first name is Jeff, and that's all he's doing. I've had people come in and tell me at the DFAP, he's out here listening. Some people are saying that he's not. Okay? I told him if he's got some of money, he can't be on the ground. Right. But he's refusing to cooperate. He has his own camera over here on record. Oh, okay. Uh, so, ever how you want to handle this. You can stay on the sidewalk if you, because you can't be, ask for money up here. Okay. You got to stay off the property. All right. So, if, uh, if, uh, if you're not asking for money, you're good then. Well, you can stand out here and God bless her, you know. But that's the thing I was discussing with him. A person has just as so much right to solicit as they do saying God bless all his veterans. But when the, that's freedom of speech. But when the people are coming into us and complaining that you're asking for money from them. <laughs> that's Com why if you go to the sidewalk. People complaining about stuff is a, doesn't override constitutionally protected activity. Right? But if you're going to ask for money, be on the sidewalk. I got you. All right. All right. Sound simple, All right. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Understood. Okay. Now, I've seen a couple of clips where Jeff on your oath basically gets into a lot of issues with some police. Now, there was one clip I, rec I actually reviewed. Um, this was weeks ago now. But what ended up happening is Jeff was actually confronted by an officer who called the Constitution a load of crap. Yes, they actually did. If you want to go and check that video out, I think it's like my second or third ever video I made here on this channel. But basically, he tends to get a whole bunch of different responses, but it usually always results in just the police wasting their own time. Like, they really don't need to be there. It's just a pointless conversation where Jeff is doing everything within his rights. He's not hurting anyone. He's not harming people. He's not breaching the peace. And people are somehow apparently, okay, apparently complaining that he's asking for money. I don't know how much I actually believe that, but anyway, let's get into the next one. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. How come you're filming our building? This clip is rather old. Some of you may have already seen it, but I haven't actually reacted to it yet. This clip is from at James Freeman, and by the way, I forgot to say at the beginning, all of the channels will be linked down below in the description, as always. Go check this guy out, he's a good auditor, he's been going for a while now, and I um, subscribe to him and watch his videos. Basically, in this case, he is outside a police department, I believe, I don't know where, but he walks into the building, and he bumps into none other than the chief. Police chief, who isn't really... Well, the police chief acts a bit confused and starts asking James, who are you? What are you doing and where have you come from? You can even see his confused face here on the slow-mo, the rewind. Well, the police chief tries to question James and it gets more, more than heated because he's not happy that James isn't giving his name or details. This police chief doesn't really know what to do and it gets so bad that he decides that he's going to follow James around the whole building until he either leaves or gives his ID. Take a look. Good, how are you? Something I can help you with? No, I'm good, thanks. What are you video on? Just everything I can see. No, but what, what are you thinking? What are you doing? What's that? What are you videoing in here? Everything I can see. <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm just... Irrelevant. Who are you? No, I need your ID. You need my ID? Yeah, please, thank you. Hold on one second. Yeah, turn it on. Can I have your ID, please? Hold on one second. Let me get my lawyer for you. Uh, I don't need your lawyer. I need your ID. Well, that would get you in a lot of trouble. So. Uh, I don't think so. Are you? Who are you? I'm the chief. <clears throat> and if you're going to come into my lobby, and videotape, and in, in today's day and age, I think I have the right to ask you for to identify yourself. Okay, is it not a public lobby? It is. Okay. But this is a little bit... <laughs> is photography a crime? I need your ID. I'm asking if photography is a crime. I it's need a, your ID, It's sir. a yes or a no. I need your ID. Why, do you suspect me of a crime? Do you suspect me of a crime? Because in, in the state of we Utah... have the right to identify it. You can ask, but in the state of Utah, you have to suspect me of a crime in That's order to... That's not true. So it's a stop and ID state, huh? Without even suspicion of a crime. I can tell you, I'm news media. I'm here filming. 
Well, that would be nice to know. And that's all you need to know. That would you didn't helpful. ask. Sir, do you have uh, news media identification? Don't need it. Yeah, I'd like that. Well, you can like it all you want, Gary. Hey, this is the chief. Can you send a couple guys down to the lobby? It's Logan Police Department in okay. Logan, Utah. No, just I need to have them come down. Logan, Utah. Thanks. Logan Police Department, Logan, Utah. Yeah. Mods, if you can do you have, help me out there. Do you have media ID? I don't need it. Well, I'm asking you to identify yourself, sir. This is really odd that you're it's walking around my lobby. In my lobby. Vi videotaping this lobby. My that's, lobby. That's suspicious to me. My lobby. And I'm curious to know who you are. I'm someone who checks up on the government, and it's suspicious to me that you're so worried about the people. Now at this point, it has become difficult for the chief to get this guy out. James isn't willingly going to give his ID or name because he believes he doesn't have to, and the chief of police is trying to figure out what he can do next. Now I guess he's going to pull the suspicious card saying that he might be up to no good, whereas I would hope that the chief would know more about the law, freedom of press, the first constitution, the first amendment, sorry, and he would know about all these things more than the officers below him. But the reality is that he is acting as if he doesn't, and in this case, what you're about to see next is something pretty unbelievable take place. This chief wants to get James's ID and name at whatever costs and is trying to now paint him in a suspicious light in my opinion. Take a look. I'm not here to cause you a problem, but you're, you're causing, causing a problem. problem. But you're causing a problem. I'm asking you to leave, sir. And are you going to arrest me if I don't? I've asked you for your ID, you've denied that. Well, you I'm have I'm asking you to leave the lobby, sir. You realize this is my lobby, right? That's fine, but I'm asking you to leave. Okay, are you giving me a lawful order to leave, or are you just asking me to leave? It's we'll okay. okay. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to disobey any lawful orders, but uh, I have the right to be in here and film my public servants. <laughs> so, if you're giving me a lawful order, or you're telling me you're going to arrest me if I don't give you Did IDs, I say you were under arrest. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to clarify because I feel kind of threatened at this point. Yeah. You guys are, yeah, you're calling more people with guns out here for a guy with a camera. What gun? There's a gun right there. Sure does. There's a gun right there. There's extra magazines. How many times do you think you need to shoot me? I mean, that's a lot of magazines. Bro, it's just a camera. Bro, where are you coming from with the gun? Exactly. Where are you coming from? Let me just walk around and do my video. Leave me alone. Can we do that? I'd like to know what your purpose is. It doesn't matter what you'd like to know. And besides, I already told you, my purpose is news media gathering content for a story. And yet you don't have ID that would... I don't need it. Yeah, do you understand what freedom of the press is? Do you know who That's issues true. press passes? Who issues them? Okay. Nobody. The state doesn't issue press passes. So to get a press pass, what you do is you go, you can write it in crayon, or you can create it yourself. Um, on a computer, you can print it out, you can laminate it, you can make it look as professional as you want. But no state anywhere in the United States issues press passes because we have the freedom of the press in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. So anyone with a camera telling a story about a tyrant is press. Sure. Yeah. And so that's all I'm here to do. I was hoping, you know, I thought you told well, us. Go ahead and take your, take <clears throat> your camera shot. Okay. I'm just going to hang with you for a minute. Okay. Perfect. And, uh, Let's do that. Can we, can we give each other arm's length distance from each other? For my safety and yours? Sure. Would that be fair? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. I was just about done in here anyways, but I'll right. go back so through here. And well, that hall takes you down to the city office if you want to film there. Or <coughs> welcome to go out and take a look at the front of the building. It's a pretty building. It is. So. And what was your name? I'm sorry. You got me real nervous with you approaching me with the aggressiveness. Right and no, there's nothing aggressive. Well, I, I feel intimidated and threatened. Well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Well, I don't think I you are. That. But what was your name? Can you verbally give it to me? No. It's okay. You, you can't? You got my name right Is that what you tell the judge? Uh, I don't tell the judge that, no. No? Because you got a little bit more respect for the judge than, than the general public? I'm not going to engage you, sir. Well, you, you're not going to engage me? Good, then go back to your office. Go back to work, just and I'll on. do my job. You said you're not going to engage me, but you're going to follow me around? Just gonna that would be just stalking, then. It's all good. That would just be stalking. It's and then okay. I'd have to have the sheriff come out here and arrest you. Go ahead. He's on the video. Have a nice day. All right. You're dismissed. Thank you for coming. This clip actually really reminded me of yesterday's video where we had an auditor going into a, well, a public building. Let's call it what it is. And an attorney, the town attorney came out. 
But that was definitely worse than this one. But the chief here is definitely a bit annoyed, I feel, that James knows his rights and that James is standing up for himself. Let's be honest, most people would actually not argue back with the chief and they would think, oh, the chief knows everything. The reality is, yes, you have to earn your way to be a chief. And irrelevant of what some of you think, they have usually been in the force or service, whatever you want to call it, for a very, very long time. This is something that people should respect, but only if they're doing the right thing. If they're holding up the constitution and allowing people to go about their daily business without hinder. In this case, the officer and his, well, chief, the officer to the left, is actually trying to get this guy's ID when he hasn't really committed a crime. So yeah, comment down below your opinions. Check out the channels in description. I've been your host commentator and this is Audit Rewind. Drop a like before you leave and subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe and well.